So today we're talking about a free sewing pattern that's actually been around for quite some time and it's been around in my handmade wardrobe for quite some time as well and uh, I've probably made about a dozen of those if not more and every time I cannot stop telling you about how wonderful this free sewing pattern is for a variety of reasons which we will discuss in a moment. And of course, it's Kirsten Kimono Tea by Maria Denmark, one of my favorite free song patterns of all times today on Free Song Pattern Review, a show where every week I tell you everything you need to know about one particular free song pattern, the do's, the don'ts, and what you need to know to make sure that you make something wonderful for yourself, save a little bit of money, and hopefully don't use that dreaded seam ripper. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. And the first thing that I would love to mention to you about this free sewing pattern is that, well, don't be fooled by its simplicity. Uh, and I mean it in the best possible way because first of all, it's so easy to sew it, it's so easy to wear it, meaning that it's also very easy to modify it in whatever shape or form that you would like. So if you ever thought about putting on a pattern designer hat on and kind of play around with modifying a sewing pattern, then this is a very good basic piece to start with. So let's take a look at its pattern card. The sizes range from extra small to 4XL, so there's definitely a nice wide range of sizes for this pattern. And as far as the pattern pieces, well, there's only two, the front and the back. There's supposed to be another pattern piece for your neck binding, however, it's not necessarily included in your printed pattern, but the instructions are very well written, so they will guide you through on how to cut that so you don't have to worry about that. So if you are new at this whole sewing thing, this pattern is very good for beginners. It calls for stretch fabric or knit or jersey fabric. However, I actually made majority of my Kirsten Kimono tees out of non-stretch materials, including this one. So I'll tell you in a moment how to go about that. So in order for you to get Maria Denmark Kirsten Kimono tee, you have to go onto Maria Denmark's website and sign up for her newsletter. And I will leave the link for it in the info box below. Now, once you do sign up for her newsletter, your pattern will be automatically sent to your inbox, you know, within a couple of minutes. So definitely check it. And that's how you will get this free song pattern. And uh, you can probably make it in about an hour and a half. Um, in an hour, probably if you use a serger and you're confident um, in your sewing skills and you know what you're doing, uh, probably about closer to two hours if you're a beginner. But it's definitely a very easy make and the fabric is the key. You want to make sure that you're choosing fabric with nice drape, something that isn't stiff because the stiffer it is, the more boxier it's going to look on you. So something a little flowy, just like this one, um, just like the floral example you see something that really drapes nicely on the body and really takes the shape um, of your figure. Two areas that I would definitely watch with this free sewing pattern is the neckline and the length of the actual garment. I am on the shorter side, so I always find it that it's a little bit too long. So I have shortened my original pattern to begin with, and I've had it that way for many, many years now. Now the neckline, it just really depends on you. Sometimes I make it a little bit rounder. Sometimes I make it more into a boat neck. Um, as I mentioned, it's really easy to customize this particular free sewing pattern. So definitely play around, maybe uh, make a a mock pattern first just to see how well it fits and then make necessary adjustments. Now, if you would like to make your Kirsten Kimono tee out of non-stretch fabrics like I did with majority of mine, here are two options that you can do. Number one, you can go into your closet and grab a top that is structurally very similar to Kirsten Kimono tee and you want to make sure that you can get into it without using any extra zippers, closures, buttons, ties or anything like that. So you want to make sure that when you put it on yourself, it's nice and loose, it fits nicely in your chest area, the neckline is wide enough. And then what you do is you fold it in half and then you lay it on top of your Kirsten Kimono tee pattern piece and you compare those measurements and you want to make sure that these either align or maybe Kirsten Kimono tee is a little bit bigger because that will tell you that yes, if I make Kirsten Kimono tee in this size, then I will definitely will be able to get it on myself without any problems. Now the next thing that you can do is, option number two, is that you can go a few sizes up in your pattern measurements of this kimono tee. Now before you actually cut into the fabric, here's the thing that you will need to do. Take your tape measure, 
measure the chest area of uh, the pattern and then measure the chest area on yourself and you want to make sure that the pattern piece is definitely larger than your bust area and take in consideration the ease that you will need and also remember the seam allowances right now another thing that you will need to know is that the neckline is wide enough for you to be able to pull it through and you can always adjust the neckline it's not a problem you can make it a little bit wider so if you're not a fan of super wide necklines like I'm not and you like it a little bit tighter, here's what you can do. You can do a tie closure in the back just like on this blouse. You can install a zipper. You can make a button. Um, you can also do like a lace up. So there's quite a few interesting things that you can do with this very simple freestyle pattern. And the fact that it is simple makes it so much easier to work with it and add an element or two to it without actually like changing the construction of the whole garment. So what do you guys think? Uh, I'm not sure if you're still debating if you want to make it or not, but if it's something that will flatter your body, will go well with the rest of your wardrobe, and that you feel that it's something that you're going to wear, then I say absolutely go ahead and make it because it's such a versatile piece. It goes well with so many different things. And again, you can customize it in so many different ways. If you wanna watch some other videos in Free Sewing Pattern Review series, then click on the screen that you see. It will take you to a full playlist of Free Sewing Pattern Review videos with some more amazing Free Sewing Patterns. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!